Morrison comes right under front. While Brendan Morrison put the puck in the net in triple overtime, taking the Vancouver Canucks to Game 7 in the 2004 Stanley Cup playoffs, the nets here at Claquot Sound are looking a little empty. Nothing. <laughs> For Brendan, though, any day on the water is a good day. Uh, it's something special about this place. It's almost, uh, it's hard to describe it until you hear it. It's like this magical, mystical feel. Uh, you just feel energized, you feel recharged, and um, you know, you're breathing that fresh, salty air, and you have the old growth forest and the ocean right here. It's, it's just a spectacular place. Brendan has photos of his mother hiking around here when she was pregnant with him in the mid 1970s. Which is kind of cool. I go back and look at the old photos, but we'd always come over here as a family, usually for the May long weekend, and um, you know, it was the one trip, one family trip I would just look forward to every year. Brendan probably already knew then, even subconsciously, that Tofino and the waters surrounding it would be somewhere he'd visit for the rest of his life. He has a summer home here now and a fishing boat, the real season. Six years ago, he started the Tofino Saltwater Classic. To date, the Derby has raised over $250,000 for several Tofino-based organizations, including the Tofino General Hospital, the Tofino Salmon Enhancement Society, and the Wiccaninish School PAC's Healthy Lunch and Literacy Programs. This is where Chef Ricky comes in. He's worked at the Fairmont, Chateau Whistler, and the Empress and other high-end establishments. He still works with local eateries here in Tofino. He's also the lunch lady at Wicked Ninish Elementary School. Three and a half years ago, when I was approached to, to get involved, it was like, well, first of all, is this something I'd be interested in? And, and so I decided to give it a try, and it's, I love it. The kids are fantastic, uh, the job is great, and yeah, and to see the, the kids, you know, interact with me and, and the food is, is pretty special. The majority of the students coming to the school were coming to school with a can of pop, a bag of chips and a chocolate bar. I mean, that was the reality of it. And, um, you know, we felt um, that we could make a difference. And, uh, you know, it paid immediate dividends. I mean, teachers were seeing results right away. Attention spans were longer throughout the day in the classroom and grades were going up. And, um, you know, we, we felt there was a direct correlation to the nu nutrition they were getting in their bodies. <laughs> Cooking at the school doesn't get this rough. Ricky has an actual kitchen there to work in. We've moved out to Wilf Rock, exposed to the open Pacific. Since there wasn't anything in the crab traps, we decided to give fishing a try. It's a good thing Chef has some oysters on board. Uh, nice hard shell, and uh, you see how they have a nice uh, cup? Brendan had a stellar hockey career. I can't help but wonder if there are parallels between hockey and fishing. I don't go into the corner of my boat. Yeah. <laughs> kind of stay on the perimeter. <laughs> Brendan misses the team camaraderie he experienced in hockey, winning when you're not supposed to. Maybe that's kind of like the kids and their families here who could use a bit of a leg up. He says everyone, whether it be on a hockey team, in a community, or in a family, has the opportunity to step up and be a role model. If you're a guy in hockey that the fourth line guy that goes out and okay, your only job for that night is to kill a penalty. Well, if you don't kill the penalty, there's a chance your team might not win that game. But if you go out and sacrifice and you block a shot and your team wins the game, you've, you've done as much to help that team win as the guy who's scoring goals. I mean, people donating their time, like, I mean, just so selfless and, and you know, Ricky Moore, you know, undertaking the job. And Ricky walks into the school, he's a rock star. Like, he's, uh, he's the guy the kids want to associate with. The Tofino Saltwater Classic runs in early July with registration opening in January. And as Tofino and the surrounding areas inspire people from all over the world, maybe now the folks here will also set new standards for lunch programs in our schools. For GO, aboard Real Season in Claquot Sound, I'm Kate Bergen.